Hello everyone. Good morning to all. After square knot across flats, let's see how to draw square knots across corners. Let's take a problem. Draw to scale full size, full size or one is to one, the front view and top view of a square knot of diameter 25 mm, keeping its axis vertical with the diagonal on the square face parallel to VP. Now if you assume this cube as a square nut then joining these two corners, opposite corners of upper square, diagonal of square, diagonal on the upper square is parallel to VP. It means two vertical faces of square nut, these two faces are equally inclined to VP. Actually all four sides or all four vertical faces are equally inclined to VP. So this is the final position. Now if you are observing from the front, we will have two faces, two faces from the front and top view of this nut will be like this with central threaded hole, right. Now for construction, first of all we are required to calculate all standard dimensions for 25 mm. So diameter is 25 mm, 25 mm, 0.8 of D. 0.8 of 25 is 20 mm and 1.5 of D. 1.5 is the diameter of chamfering circle or size of the square. So 1.5 of D is 37.5. Now for construction, we can assume 37.5 is 38. This is for construction only. But in actual, the calculated value is 37.5. Now for construction, first of all draw XY line. XY line for the projection. Like this. This is your reference line for projection. Now, after XY line, draw axis, axis of the nut. an axis line for front view and for top view and draw center line or another line parallel to xy from your center center of the nut or center of the top view of nut so this point now is the center of the nut next step draw three circles of diameter 20 mm 25 mm and 37.5 mm respectively from the center. So diameter of first circle is 20 mm. So mark end limits of 20 mm and draw a smooth circle of diameter 20 mm. Right? Then second circle of diameter 25 mm. If diameter is 25 mm, then radius will be approximately 12.5. So the radius is 12.5 and this circle, second circle with diameter 12.5 is an incomplete circle. Why incomplete? For representation of internal thread. Then last with diameter 1.5D, 37.5 or 38. So half of 38 is 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So from this center and radius equals to 19 mm draw another circle this is the last circle next step circumscribe a square on the circumference of chamfering circle so square square means now from this point, draw a line, random line, at an angle of 45, to get the midpoint of square, this is the midpoint, again mark midpoint of the square, at an angle of 45, mark midpoint of square, and mark midpoint of the square. So these are four midpoints of the square, now from these four points, draw perpendicular, perpendicular means from midpoint to corner or center, this is normal, perpendicular to that line, line like this, or 
from center to midpoint this is the reference line and perpendicular to this line line like this again from this point from corner to the point actually This is the square, square of size 1.5b, which is going to represent the top utopy of square nut. Now mark height, height of the square nut height is equals to d. So from this point, the height is d, height equals to d, and project, project these corners for front view. So from this corner. Draw a line like this, parallel to vertical axis, again from the next corner, vertical line, right, and then a horizontal line. Right, so this is the structure of front view. Now, Project these two corners, these two corners or these two points. Which point is this? Point of intersection of chamfering circle to central axis. Point of intersection of chamfering circle to central axis, central horizontal axis. From this point, mark limits of it on the upper face of square nut. So, project this point up to the top edge, this point up to the top edge. Now from this point, from projected point at an angle of 30. So, I'll show you how to this line again. So from this edge, from the top edge, angle of this line, starting from this point, angle is 30, right? So from this edge, this angle is 30. So we need to show, show, show this angle, extend it for dimensional right. So this angle is 30, 30 degrees. Thirty. After doing this, get point of intersection of this line and vertical edge of this line and vertical edge. These are points of intersection and mark central point like this so this is the central point or just catch this height and mark the central point now show central angle which is 60 here from the top corner to the midpoint midpoint of the base so draw a line from top corner to midpoint and midpoint to second top corner Again, top corner to the midpoint, top corner to the midpoint, and midpoint to the same top corner. This angle is 60 here. 60, 60, angle 60. And angle is 60. Now finalize your work or front view by drawing curve from this point to this point touching 
midpoint like this again from this point to this point touching central or midpoint like this then chamfering and from middle point straight edge again chamfering right and extreme left and right faces of the square nut and central edge or front edge of the nut next row hidden lines for thread rule catch these two limits from this point a hidden line throughout it side again from the responding point throughout its height on the left side and on the right side next dimensioning dimensioning First is your height, height of the nut, height of the nut, capital D equals to D. So height is equals to D, capital D, height of nut equals to D, and uh, size of square is your 1.5 of D, 1.5 of D. Then diameter of sorry, please use light pencil and thin chain line for dimensioning. So here, diameter of first and second circle, these two diameters are dia phi 0 0.8 of t and diameter dia d. Next, draw dimensioning table. Dimensioning table for standard dimensions. Here orange color is for dark pencil HP, white color is for medium edge or for all naming and for all construction work, green color or mirror shade please use 2 edge pencil. Now please draw this problem on your sheet starting from top view, draw 3 circles, 3 concentric circles of dia 
mm, incomplete circle of dia 25 mm, and third circle of chamfering circle or chamfering circle of dia 38 mm or 37.5 after rounding of 38. Then a square, square touching extreme ends of the circle or simply circumscribe a square on the chamfering circle then project these limits for front view here height of the nut is equals to d t equals to d so draw line from this point like this and join these two corners then again project this end this end or this corner point of intersection of chamfering circle and central axis up to the top edge and draw a line at an angle of 30 for representation of chamfering so this is chamfering repeat this process for the side for chamfering and then get this point by drawing a straight line passing through these two points get this point and try to draw front curve face of your nut to this point and show all visible edges of your nut now please draw this problem on your sheet and if you have any doubt or problem in any of the topic of engineering graphics or machine drawing please write your comments on the comment box thank you